Hey everyone, today I will be introducing you to Create Studio Pro, an upgraded version of Create Studio. In case you're not familiar, Create Studio is a platform that allows you to create videos or animations designed to be user-friendly and simple to use. It's a straightforward app, which means you don't need to be a professional video editor or animator to create videos with Create Studio. If you wanna check out Create Studio as we go along in the tutorial, feel free to click the link in the description below. If you use my link, you'll get access to bonus features like a 2D animation feature and a whiteboard doodle animation tool, but more on that later. Originally, it was an animation software that allowed users to create both 2D and 3D animations. One of the best things about it was that you could have a character perform multiple actions in a single scene, and it was very user-friendly. However, Create Studio has continued to evolve over the years and now offers a range of other features. For example, it includes scroll stoppers, whiteboard video creation tools, a music library, and a text-to-speech feature that many people find helpful. Additionally, you can upload your own media and incorporate it into your Create Studio projects. But today I'm really going to focus on what's new and exciting with Create Studio Pro. In addition to timeline improvements, character animations have also been upgraded. A notable new feature is the ability to loop character actions seamlessly. This is especially beneficial for creating repetitive motions without the need to manually duplicate keyframes, which saves a significant amount of time and effort. Another awesome addition is that character files are now lighter, meaning they load faster into your projects. This reduction in file size does not compromise quality, but rather optimizes performance, ensuring that your workflow is more efficient. Let me focus on the three coolest new features in Create Studio Pro. First, let's talk about the pre-designed templates and what I like most about this feature. So if you're afraid of facing a blank canvas, and want some inspiration to start with, this feature provides a fantastic starting point for those looking to quickly produce professional looking videos. So let me show you how that works. When you open the software, you will see various templates that come pre-designed for you in Create Studio Pro, such as scroll stoppers, doodle videos, and many more. However, if you want to start with a blank project, that's also possible. With a lot of options available, the possibilities of what you can create on this platform are endless. Which brings us to the next favorite feature, which is the custom project option. For those who prefer starting from scratch, the new blank project option offers limitless creative freedom. You can select your preferred aspect ratio and format, such as landscape, square, or vertical. For example, you might start with a 4K landscape project that features a clean white background. This flexibility allows you to tailor the setup to your specific project needs. So let's begin with a blank file. You can select your preferred aspect ratio and format, such as landscape, square, or vertical. For instance, let's create a 4K landscape project with a white canvas background. The next feature is this new enhanced set library. The asset library has been expanded to include a wider variety of elements. Whether you need backgrounds, icons, or complex animations, the enhanced library is equipped to provide high quality resources that can be easily integrated into your projects. So as you can see, the timeline is located below. This is where we will add all the elements and determine the order in which they will appear. You can find all the different assets we'll be using here. The tools located at the top are very useful and the right pane here changes depending on the component we're working on in Create Studio. For example, if you need to change the appearance of a text element, such as the font, size, and color, you would do so in the text component. However, here's what I'm most excited to talk about. You can now create bobblehead animations using this brand new feature. It's a lot of fun, and I can't wait to show you how it works. If you want to create a bobblehead of yourself or someone else, start by picking a photo of the person you want to turn into a bobblehead. First, you need to cut out the head from the photo. To do this, go to the top of the screen, pick the pen tool, and click around the head to outline it. This tool is super neat, kind of like what artists use in programs like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. Once you're done outlining, connect back to the starting point and adjust if needed. Next, let's set up the scene. Go to the studio icon, pick a beach background from the Supreme category and drag it to fill your screen. Then go to characters, select bobbleheads and choose a body. You can see your bobblehead moving if you hit the space bar. Now attach the head to the body. Adjust its size so it looks right and make sure it wiggles like the body does. You can set this wiggle by selecting motion, then rotation, and finally swing. Adjust how fast or slow it swings by changing the settings. 
To make your bobblehead appear in a fun way, group the head and body together, select motion, and then position to make your character slide into the scene. You can also change other settings like speed. If you're working on a bigger project, add more items like text or animations. You can find lots of options in the media section for adding pictures or fun graphics. Just pick what you like and drag it into your project. And if you add something like confetti, it makes it look fun. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you decide to give Create Studio Pro a try, feel free to check out their website through the link in the description down below and get access to some crazy bonuses. I hope this works out for you. If it does, make sure you go ahead and leave a like, and then I'll see you next time. Have a fantastic day ahead.